Introducing the ultimate guide to creating a vibrant and high shine color pigment lip oil. Get ready to unleash your creativity and elevate your lip game to new heights. I'll show you how I was able to create two high shine color long lasting lip oils. Today I'm going to be creating a strawberry and avocado lip oil. So this is going to be my avocado oil and of course my strawberry flavor oil. I'm going to start off with measuring out the avocado oil. I will leave a link in the description on where you can get the exact measurements in order to create this high pigment lip oil. You'll also be able to use any type of plant oil that you desired. I chose to use avocado because the strawberry and avocado just kind of sounds pretty yummy for your lips. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is measuring out wax. I love to use a plant-based wax because it helps with the consistency of the product. I'll be measuring out this and then I'll be using a double boiler method in order to melt both the wax and the oil together. For the first lip oil, I did use Caranuba Wax. I like the consistency of Caranuba Wax because it doesn't make the product too thick. So now you're going to go ahead and heat this until it's fully melted. So we're going to be using polybutene. Polybutene is going to be great for adding to your lip creations. This is going to help with the lip oil to keep it from being so runny and loose. So now that I have the polybutene measured out, I want to go ahead and add my color pigments to this part of the lip oil. So this is going to help because that way I can be able to keep all the color inside of the lip oil. And I do apologize, but these are the only lip color pigments that I have. When you're creating this, you're more than welcome to use any color lip pigment that you want, as long as it is measured out to the correct amount. I'm also doing one single lip gloss for this recipe because of the video, but inside of the actual recipe, you'll be able to have a larger batch. I scaled it up to be created in a larger batch, and this is also going to be measured in grams. So as you see, I'm just kind of trying to make some sort of color pigment again. You are more than welcome to use any color pigment that you want. Just make sure that it is going to be like TKB. I mean, I'm just more familiar with those because I know that they do have castor oil. So the pigments are going to be partially replaced with some of the carrier oil that we used earlier. So this is why I don't have a large amount of carrier oil as well. So this is the preservative I'm going to be using. This is an oil soluble preservative. You can replace this with vitamin E. So the oil and wax is fully melted. I let it cool off a little bit. And I'm going to be adding this to the polybutene and our color pigment creation. 
You're going to make sure you stir this together, but be careful because you do not want to lose any of the oil. So I know this kind of looks like it's really runny and oily at the moment, but trust the process. Just keep stirring it and it's going to be fully incorporated and it's going to turn into a lip oil. So now I'm just finishing off by adding the preservative and also the flavor oil to this lip oil. This part is totally optional, but I do love adding micas to my lip products. This kind of gives it a little bit more shimmer and shine. It doesn't really do too much to enhance the color, but I do like how it makes it shimmery inside of the packaging. So right here it kind of looks like a peach color but it's actually more of a pink color. I'm going to show you a little swatch on my wrist. So for this lip oil, I was trying to decide which packaging and I wanted to go with this one. I feel like this lip oil works better inside of a wand container because of the consistency. I will be using the other squeeze tube for the other lip oil that I'm going to show you later. I went ahead and measured this one out ahead of time. So I did use a higher blend of polybutene. I also used candelilo wax as the replacement. And I did do a different color. I wanted to go ahead and just do a chocolate color with this one. Here's a look at it with the oil and wax incorporated. As you can see, it's still nice and thick and has a good consistency to it. Here I am adding some more mica to this one. Again, micas are totally optional. I just like to add it because again, the shimmer and shine purpose. So this is a nice chocolate color. Here is what the swatch looks like. You can see the consistency difference from the first one. And I'm going to go ahead and jar this up. Again, I liked using the squeeze tube for this one because of the consistency and it worked out perfect. Because again, with candelilo wax, it continues to thicken the product up and I used the perfect amount. So I'm going to show you how it looks when you squeeze it out. It's not runny at all. It's nice and thick and creamy. I do want to add when you're stirring up the lip oils to so kind of be careful. I know this one looked like it had some air bubbles inside of it, but it didn't. It still came out nice and smooth. So 
so there you have it that's how you get your color pigment lip oil again i'm going to be leaving a link for the description and excuse the way i look but i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like on my lips because i know obviously that's what everybody wants to see so of course these are not going to be my color but again this is the only type of color i had this is going to be the first one as you can see it's a nice pink color again not my color of course i would have probably added a lip liner to this to kind of make it a little bit more stand out ish but i just didn't have that kind of time i wanted to go ahead and show you what it looks like and then i'll be showing you what the chocolate one looks like as well and here's the chocolate one i do like this one as far as the color on my lips i like the consistency of both lip oils i mean they are both really good this one's going to be a bit more thicker i do feel like it will have a longer lasting um outcome on your lips but both of them feel actually really good and i'm not just saying that because i made it but they do feel really good this is going to be a recipe that you guys are going to want to make again i'm going to leave a link to where you can get the recipe in full and all of the measurements for it and all the ingredients that you're going to need thank you for tuning in until next time i will see you later